sometimes I treated you like shit And I know these memories are far behind But I know you'll remember Whoa. She's been nothing going round the bend She's been nothing going round the bend Yeah, yeah Had a few claps in there. Uh, that was. <laughs> we didn't rehearse that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and and transmission. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. That was Hannah with "You'll Remember," and I, I really do like this band, and I, I really appreciate them, especially for her vocals. And that was so kind of cool, kind of poppy, and kind of kind of early, almost kind of early sixties, fifties, with the kind of the clapping at the end. You know, kind of added a little kind of actual kind of pop and upbeat to it. Yeah, I agree. It, it's a really well written tune. I I like her vocal. It it I hear a, a sixty thing and and it, I also hear kind of a new wave thing. Yeah. I'm reminded of you know people like Blondie and the, the singers that were around in the late seventies, early eighties. Right. Um, right. It was a good tune. Yeah, I I just I love the feel of it. I love the drive. And yeah, her vocal. There's just something really natural and unaffected about it. And it's just and it's really. Yeah, it really is effective. Right on. So next up, we have a new one by Grasscutter. And this is, I think, the third version of Moon Dies Red. <laughs> but either way, we're going to get this because it's still a cool tune nonetheless. Here is Moon Dies Red by Grasscutter. Yeah. Mm.
Brass Cutter with Moon Dies Red, and you know what? This song just keeps getting better, and Dave, like I just posted on Twitter, man, you killed the vocals. I could love it. It, just, it sounds so good, and you know, I know it might be a pain in the ass for you, Dave, but you know, in some cases, you know, it's it's nice that, that Tom <laughs> is very obsessive compulsive when it comes to recording and finishing and trying to master these products. Yeah, that I'm speechless. That was an amazing version of that tune. I am always blown away by Grass Cutter. I was thinking about it while I was listening to it. The, the level of harmonic and melodic sophistication of their music is just fabulous. I I am in awe. Yeah, we were both pretty much jumping up and down here. Uh, Dave, I'm, I know you're listening. This was a, a great version. I think it's probably my favorite. I really feel like the band and the vocals are just so tied together and, and just in sync, and it was just great. Wow. Yeah. Great yeah. to hear. One more thing before we get to our next tune is, you know, a big shout to to uh, Forgotten Bee for introducing us to Grass Cutter because holy crap, man! Like. <laughs> <laughs> we we've been so fortunate and there's such a good bunch of guys and being dave your support's always uh awesome and he's been on nms a few times so has the rest of the band and tom and those guys so really cool so next up uh, we're gonna get to uh another band of known suggestion which uh you can never uh say anything bad about his uh, taste in music so this is a band from sweden called sonic state capital and the song's called another day of life dig this
<laughs> that was Sonic State Capital with another day of life. And since this was a suggestion of no one, no one, you're up first, buddy. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I absolutely love that song. It for me, it epitomizes really great rock. It's well written. It's well played. A very high level of musicianship. Uh, lyrically, it's really interesting and heartfelt. Um, great guitar solo. Great hook. Um, Oh, and by the way, they are looking for a lead singer. If we got any lead singers out there, um, they're a great band. They right. are a great band, and I really can't add much to what Nolan said, except for the fact that, my my gosh, it's, it's <laughs> just amazing to me the kind of talent that's out there in the indie community. I mean, these guys are just freaking awesome. Yeah, that tune rocked. I mean, I just, like, you had that kind of, like, 80s and the, the 90s mixed to it, and it's, like, just a... Uh, Pretty much the the nineties almost kind of like metal hard rock, you know, you know what I mean. Yep. And uh, in the soloing was kind of like a style and almost kind of slosh like at the end. So like, yeah, this was like a really effing cool tune. I really enjoyed this. Yeah, great band. So that's uh, gonna wrap it up for part one of NMS, and we'll be back in about five ten minutes with part two. So until then, we'll be right back. Uh, stay tuned. Bones out. <laughs> 